Have you ever played in a tournament? They have prizes at tournaments. If you play American style and you want to practice winning a prize, try Charleston Force. If you're new to American Style Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do, so you don't miss anything. Let's do some Charleston Force. We got to pick our categories first. Here I have strips, one for each category on the card. We'll pick three and force three hands in these categories. Year, Winds and Dragons, Singles and Pairs. We'll force hands in these categories. We'll just say we're the dealer for these. So I'll take 14 random tiles and then I'll create a mock Charleston to simulate what we might get in passes from other players. Okay, let's see what happens. Year, Winds and Dragons, Singles and Pairs. Since we have Jokers and a White Dragon, I think we should try for something with the Year. Now we won't be able to use all these. Let's go ahead and give up These three. Try for a year hand. There's a red dragon. Equally risky. Let's pass them. There's a seven dot. I always keep everything in the category, but now we have like numbers. I would not pass like numbers. I'll break that up and just give it up, one of each suit. Oh, there's a multiple, but we're forcing a year hand here. So we got to give something up. 2017 flowers. Let's give up a dragon. You know what? I think I would even break this up. So we're not stuck with a pair for the next pass. There's a one. Let's pass these three. Flower, oh my goodness. Let's pass these three. Oh my goodness, look at all those threes and fours. Let's pass these three for optional cross. I don't think there's anything in here, but we'll just go through the motions there. Okay, so we have four discards. I think actually four discards with Joker bait, really six discards. I would try for probably the 2017 Concealed Hand with Flowers. If you would do something different to force this, let me know. But I would have tried for the year with these tiles because of those jokers, really. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, Winds and Dragons or Singles and Pairs. I'm thinking if we did Winds and Dragons, we would have four. If we did Singles and Pairs, even though we have no flowers, we might be able to do something with uh, 2468. 
either way we can give those three up right there and we do not need a pair of sixes i think we're in between let's give up these three and see what we can do we're in between singles and pairs i think the two four six eight hand or winds and dragons there's a wind and a six so we have a three and a seven we have two six eight six eight four eight it's one six one half dozen the other let's pass a different suit and give that up and we get the eight isn't that funny okay now we did get another dragon here we have to choose one two three four five we're in between we have a lot of gaps here i think i would try for east and west with dragons let's give up the two four six eight pair hand and go ahead and keep maybe we could play east and west with eights we even have all the eights east and west with eights that would be the wind and dragon let's pass these three okay there's a dragon we can keep that but now we have a flower and a one and a two let's give up the south because really we're in between eights and dragons with east and west let's give up these three okay six five seven wow that's really a terrible pass i think i would make a choice and go ahead and give up a dragon oh and that's a terrible pass we got to do it though we're compulsory at this point okay six three one we can pass those oh my goodness a pair of nines oh oh and look like numbers we need to give up a dragon so we can make a good pass for optional cross east and west with eights okay we got a south i suppose we could maybe even do news with eights and give up the joker but here we have six discards that was terrible that was a terrible charleston this is definitely going to be a long shot but i would say winds and dragons east and west with eights really we would have eight discards but if we're going for a prize i would force it i would continue to force it and play east and west with eights if you would have done something differently with that write it in the comment section this would have been force two and we have one more we have to make singles and pairs work Good thing we didn't get any jokers at least we won't be handicapped by jokers we've got the beginnings of news let's see if we have any like numbers okay i'm thinking we do have twos twos or we could do something consecutive for the singles and pairs news with twos or the consecutive one through seven let's go ahead and discard these three let's see what happens there's a seven okay now we already have to make a choice one two three five seven one two th so there's six versus six 
6 verses 6. News with twos or 1 through 7. I think I would rather do news with twos. Exchange that. Okay. Uh, we might be able to recover and we have tiles we can pass. We could maybe recover the consecutive hand, two through eight, get rid of that. And we've got twos right there, twos. Let's get rid of these three. We need wins. Oh, there's a flower, but that's not going to be helpful. So let's get rid of, oh, these three. We need wins. No wins. Let's get rid of these three. I can't believe there were no wins anywhere. But look what we did get. Two, 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 two. We just need wins. I would probably pass one blind. I don't like passing like numbers. So we'll pass one blind. I don't think there are any wins in here. So we have three discards and a pair of flowers. So I would say this would be news with twos. And we would just need to draw in wins. Five discards. That's not bad if you're forcing a hand. I'm really surprised there were no wins in there. If you would have done something differently for this one, write it in the comment section. I think that's really great practice. Not just for tournaments, but if you do something called the dot challenge where you try to play every hand on the card, this is really good practice for forcing the, for those dots. I call that the dot challenge. Force yourself to play every hand on the card. And you could do this Charleston force at home to practice for when you play live or online. If you win a hand that you force to try to get that dot, give yourself a dot. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click the bell. That way you get notification for when I post new videos. And you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.